volume two of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls volume two, going into page 232, Dead Sea Scrolls. Reading the fragments of Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse five, and it reads, let not men's garments be found on a woman, right? And it's saying, every blank, let not a man be covered with the mantle of a woman, nor wear a woman's tunic, because this is an abomination. So this is dealing with the dress code out of the Dead Sea Scrolls about how our people should be properly dressed. Let's read it again. It reads, let not men's garments be found on a woman. Every blank, because when you see the blanks, the fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls were eaten by cave worms. So they ate through some of the text, the scrolls, or the Dead Sea Scrolls, right? It say, let not a man be covered with the mantle of a woman, nor wear a woman's tunic because it is an abomination so now let's go to the kjv bible and see does it does the bible verify the dead sea scrolls because there's a lot of edification in this and i want you brothers and sisters to hear this right this is deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 and it reads the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord Yahweh thy power. So here it is in the Dead Sea Scrolls. It's telling a woman not to dress like a man dress. She's not supposed to wear a man's mitri. You know what I'm saying? A man's attire. None of that. Because you got this doctrine in Israel to say that women can dress like men. But it, that's not that's not biblical. And matter of fact, let's go to the book of Zephaniah just to verify. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1. Just to verify these things, right? This is Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. And it reads, And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord Yahweh's sacrifice that I will punish the princess and the king's children, and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So when strange apparel, that's going into doctrines, and that's literally, that's literal garments as well, man. That's literal garments. And let, let me let me prove that. Let me prove that. Leviticus chapter 16, verse 4, and it reads, he shall put on the holy linen coat and he shall have the linen breeches upon his flesh, not her flesh, not her flesh, but his flesh and shall be girded with a linen girdle. Right. So a linen girdle and it's saying and with the linen Mitri shall he be attired, not she, but he be attired you know what i'm saying so yeah when you go back into the dead sea scrolls right it's a ordinance concerning wearing clothing of the opposite sex deuteronomy 22 verse 5 although not stated the penalty for this crime as an abomination so it's not is it, it, the scriptures is telling you that this penalty is an abomination is an abomination, you know what I'm saying? You know? But let me go to page 36. Page 36. And it states the Dead Sea Scrolls timeline, 200 BCE to 100 CE. So through all, all this time, this, was, this is the timeline of... Okay, the, um, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, like I said, you had many other scrolls that was put together because the Bible, they did not use the Dead Sea Scrolls to um, put the Bible in book form, but it was just a scroll. It was other scrolls that was 
that verify and that confirmates the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because it was the same thing. When our ancient forefathers was putting together the Dead Sea Scrolls, you know, they were scribes. You know what I'm saying? They were writers. Because remember when I read in the book of, what was that, Second Peter chapter 1? Let's get that again. Second Peter's chapter one, verse 21, I believe. Yeah, because when our forefathers was putting together the scrolls, when they was writing the scrolls, you know, we wrote, we, we wrote a lot of stuff. We got plenty of um, biblical books that wasn't put in the Bible, but we got what we, we need for the for the time being. We got the 1611 with the Apocrypha for the time being. Because once Yahweh Shah come back, he's going to reveal to us all the mysteries, man. And I'm going to get that. This is the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 21. And it reads, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So they was they, when they wrote these things, they was moved by the Holy Spirit. The spirit of the most high, man, you know? So, yeah, we got, we got plenty of, um, plenty of writings. But right now, the, the KJV 1611 is going to sustain us until the time that Yahweh shall return. This is the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 25, and it reads, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. Right, so this Bible, hold fast the laws of the Bible to Yahweh shall Mashiach come. It's saying, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you hold tight to the commandments to the Lord, make his second coming, and he's going to give us power over these other nations, man. You know? And, you know, when we find these books that, that that say throughout history that we kept the commandments, we was wearing our fringes. You know what I'm saying? You buy a book like from Babylon to Timbuktu, um, a book, Hebrewisms of West Africa, uh, A Conquest of America, Tis for Tat Total Rough, proving that the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians are the Israelites. When you find books like that, those type of books are the icing on the cake. You see what I'm saying? And when you find the Dead Sea Scrolls, you can use this book to prove that the white man did not write the Bible. You see what I'm saying? You can you can use books like this to prove that he didn't write the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So with us, we we scholarships. We uh we have we have scholarships with the Bible. When we find books like this, we eat them up. You know what I'm saying? We go into the books, we we go into the index, we uh link it up with scripture, all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because the Most High put the spirit on certain brothers to find these books, man. And then they give them to other brothers and brothers order them. And then they start studying as well. So, you know what I'm saying? I do tell you brothers to get a copy of the Dead Sea Scrolls because it's, it's a part of our history. You know what I'm saying? The white man, like I said, he did not write the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they uh, found the Dead Sea Scrolls. You know what I'm saying? In the cave in western Western Judea in the uh in the desert, man. You know? But let me go to page. I wanna I wanna bring out some more information too before um I conclude on this video. Let me see what I want. Salakia, Salakia, Salakia. getting on you uh wicked ease man this is the wiles of the wicked woman right it's a folly precedes nothingness and in blank because remember what i said when you see blanks that's where the cave worms ate some of the uh the text so when they when they when they translated the text of the dead sea scrolls some of the stuff couldn't be translated because it was eaten by certain cave worms but lord thank god that we got uh we have other scrolls 
Because when we put the Bible, when, when the Bible is getting put in book form, we have other scrolls beside the Dead Sea Scrolls. But the Dead Sea Scrolls, like I said, validates the KJV. And that also proves that the white man, once again, did not write the Bible, nor the Egyptians, right? It says she is always seeking error. So our sisters are seeking error. Not you righteous sisters, but the sisters that's in the world. They always seek error, man. It's saying she wits the words of her mouth, right? We're rarely, I'm going to jump over, flatters and adds derision to unless vanity. Her heart creates lewdness in her inner being, blank. So, like I say, the words that you see when you see the blanks, that those were the thing, the words that couldn't be translated because of when they got the Dead Sea Scrolls, it was it wasn't in the best shape, right? So, but it's talking about it's talking about you know what I'm saying the wickedness of our women, bro. And once again, we're not talking about the daughters of Zion that's keeping the commandments. Who you know what I'm saying listen to their man who's loving. Who's not a dragon? We this is this is to the one. This is the Micah seven and ten, ten women. The Micah seven and ten women, right? So it's saying her eyes are befouled with perversity. Her hands grip corruption tight. So this, this is our women, bro. They they um they hands grip corruption real tight. They never let go of corruption. So let's see. If the Bible agrees with the text, the Dead Sea Scrolls Bible, right? So we're going to go to the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26, verse uh, 6. And it reads, but a grief of the heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman. Because this is where the vanity comes from. A woman that is jealous of another woman. And a scourge of the tongue which communicative with all. An evil wife is a yoke. So man, this is this is this is our people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now you see, you know, why this quarantine is going on with this uh COVID nineteen, people stand in the house. You know what I'm saying? Jake's standing in the house, so he's dealing with his woman. And you know what I'm saying? And I know, you know what I'm saying, his woman could not possibly be in the truth, and she could possibly be giving him hell. You see what I'm saying? This is what's happening. Now, people are going to find out with these relationships that it's a study that these relationships are not working because you can't go nowhere doing this, uh, this shutdown. You know what I'm saying? You can't go nowhere. So now the man and the woman is not getting along. This is why you got to keep these commandments. This is why your house got to be in order. This is why you got to pray and uh, lead with the most high vision. Because all of our vision are gonna, is going to fail. As long as we keep these commandments, the most high can work through the man and the woman. You know what I'm saying? To keep the house in order, man. So with that... This video wasn't going to be that long with the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls Volume 2. Hopefully, you brothers get edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And with that, Shalom.